If there is one thing you should know about me, it is that I'm a massive nerd. And because I'm a massive nerd, I love it when games squeeze in Easter eggs, secrets, and little nods to pop culture. And there is a lot tucked away in the shady corners of The Division 2. Hello and welcome, I'm Abrax, and in this video, I'm going to go over my top 10 Easter eggs and secrets in Tom Clancy's The Division 2. And this is by no means all of them, but if you enjoyed this video and would like to see another with a few more in, let me know. All right, let's start with a goodie. Jurassic Park. On the DC map, if you head to the taxi graveyard control point in Foggy Bottom, go behind it on this upper road here, find this car with a small wooden aeroplane on it, climb up, then to the van, then drop down through the broken fence. In here, you'll find a flipped car, a large dinosaur footprint, and a piece of cardboard with Clever Girl written on it. This is a reference to the first Jurassic Park film, with both the T-Rex car scene and the moment the Velociraptor catches up the hunter. Okay, let's go from awesome film to another, Terminator. More specifically, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. For this one, we're gonna head up to Camp White Oak, play through the mission until we get to this section. After you've cleared out the ads, go through this gate and normally we'd go straight ahead, but instead, we're gonna go left through this little gap. Here, you'll find a picnic bench with no fate carved into it and a knife still stuck upright. This is a little easter egg to the scene in Terminator 2 where Sarah Connor is scraping at a bench just before she has the nightmare of the future, waking up to show us that she's carved no fate into the bench. I'm thinking we should stick with this film theme and talk Indiana Jones. And this one comes with a story time. Because you can only get to this little easter egg through the side mission Rayburn house and not the bounty in the same area because for some reason the door is locked, I actually started a fresh level 1 character and enlisted my better half cooks to help power level me through until I could get to the side mission just to get some gameplay for this video. So we started playing, ticking off missions, upgrading the White House, and we realised it wasn't showing up on the map, so I looked into it. And you have to complete every story mission, including the strongholds, before you can talk to the quest giver. So we played from level 1 in the Grand Washington Hotel, all the way through to the Capitol Hill Stronghold, which you do need to be level 30 to play. And I was only level 23 at this point. It was getting pretty late, so I had a light bulb moment. I used the level 30 boost. I have it, I may as well use it. But, of course, I did not read the f***ing small print. So yeah, this auto-completed all of the side missions, including Rayburn House. But luckily, I actually checked on one of my hardcore characters still parked on the DC map, and he had the side mission unplayed, so it wasn't a total loss, just a funny one. So anyway, enjoy the gameplay of a golden bird that took myself and Cooks a full night to get. So let's get back to how you can find this easter egg. In that side mission Rayburn house, there is a door you're able to open full of crates, and one of these crates is broken showing a golden eagle, which is a little nod towards Indiana Jones and the Ark of the Covenant. This next one is probably my favourite on the list. I grew up on some of the classic Marvel cartoons, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and of course the X-Men. So when I found out there was an X-Men easter egg in The Division 2, I had to take a look. You can find this one in the west dark zone on the map around here. You're looking for this building, and if you head to the front door, look up, you'll see the sign reads Institute for Gifted Youngsters, 1963. The Institute for Gifted Youngsters, of course, being Charles Xavier's School for Mutants and the home of the X-Men. So good. Let's get back to films because there is another good one on this list. For this one, we're heading back into the sewers, not too far from the Mission Lincoln Memorial. You can either quick travel to the mission or the shop safe house and head into one of these three sewer entrances. Then we're gonna head to this point. Look down this closed off section here, move a little closer to the wall on the right and you'll see an eerie floating red balloon because we all float down here. This of course is a nice little Easter egg to Stephen King's murder clown, It. Next up, this one has a little spoiler for the end of the Coney Island missions, which is quite an important story beat. So, so if you haven't finished them yet and you're invested in the story, it might be best to skip to the next one. Okay, I think they're gone. So when you finish the Coney Island mission, the ballpark and rescue Chinenko, a Russian scientist, we get a little Easter egg for another Russian scientist. The glasses and cherry drink hidden away in the cell at the end of the bed are a little Easter egg for Alexei, the scientist in Stranger Things season three. 
Here's one that made me giggle the first time I spotted it. During the Space Admin HQ mission, there are a couple of printers dotted around that you can actually interact with if you approach. These print out flat earth images, like the cat experiment with the picture of a flat earth and a cat knocking something off it, or the picture of our solar system with the earth being the only flat planet. Oh, also, did you know that there's two aliens hiding out in this mission? When you get to this part of the mission, peek through here and you can see one of them just behind this light. If that's a bit blinding, you can shoot it off. and the other, which you can see over this side here, and you do get a much better view of. They don't really do anything, but it's quite quirky them just being there. Heading back to Coney Island, during the amusement park mission, you'll come across this section near the beginning where you can shoot the whack-a-moles and the docks to unlock a secret loot room. Little tip, a grenade will also do the trick. I'm sure this is something many of you have come across, but have you ever looked up and noticed this cool little easter egg for Sam Fisher, who of course is the main character of the Splinter Cell franchise? This next one, I don't really know if it's referring to anything in particular, so if you do know, drop it in the comments. It's just odd and cool, so I thought I'll add it to this list. If you keep your eyes out, you can actually find alligators. I say alligators, they could be crocodiles, whatever, I'm not a herpetologist, I'm sure someone in the comments will correct me, but anyway, you can find alligators hidden around a few of the sewer systems. I can only imagine this is pointing fun at the idea of people owning them as pets and flushing them down the toilet. If you do want to spot a couple, you can find one here, where you can see a large tail sticking out from one of the tunnels, and another one here, but this time it's facing you. They don't do anything, they just kind of sit, but it's a nice detail. And my last one is actually many, and that is Ubisoft games. There are so many Ubisoft games. Everywhere from missions to safe houses, you'll see books, games, arcade machines, all based on different Ubisoft titles. Driver, Blood Dragon, Far Cry 5, Assassin's Creed, and more. They are everywhere, and a nice nod to other franchises that kind of make you go, huh, when you see one. But that's my list and everything for this video. What is your favorite Easter egg in The Division 2, on or off this list? Let me know in the comments. As always, a big thank you to my supporters over on Patreon for keeping me topped up on coffee. Sometimes I feel like if I skip a cup, I might collapse where I stand. If you would like to become a Patreon and keep me standing, you can join for as little as one pound a month. You can find a link for that and my Twitter in the description. If you enjoyed this video, giving it a like helps me battle the dreaded YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe for future uploads. Have a great day and I will catch you in the next one.